Magic blue line says go that way. And there's some pickups over here. Here we go. Yum yum. And another door we can unlock by smashing the screen. Smashing the fuse. Smashy smashy. How am I doing for space? Not bad. Not bad. Shall we continue? Let's continue. The Basilica. What's in the Basilica? Oh, the Stalkers. Yeah, that's right. New kind of enemy. And the game, of course, is giving us a whole bunch of goodies. Why would it be doing that? Well, because it's going to attempt to kick our ass. Aren't you, game? <laughs> yeah. Stalkers. 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 They're like Velociraptors. They move really quickly move really quickly and they like to play hide and seek. Best way to deal with them is with a line gun. Especially an upgraded line gun. And bide your time. Don't go out there and try to fight them. Just find a good spot to hang out and bide your time. Wait for them to come at you. We got some spikes here. Let's just line them up nice and neat. Way to continue is that way. If we try to go that way, a big monster smashes the door. Yeah, I And now we're locked down with four, count them, four stalkers. And they get triggered by going out here. So let's go out there. And then make a stand right here. And wait for them to come at us. Let's see if we can use these spikes to save some ammo. Now. You also grab claws off them and see if you can spike them up as they come at you. And they try to if they try to play hide and seek on you. Got him. <laughs> Use a timed mine. If they try to play hide and seek, if they hide around corners and stuff. There we go. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You come out here, Slack. Fuck that, I ain't going out there. You come over here. Did I get him? Okay, good. Dana, you there? That's all four. I can't unlock the elevator. Can you do anything from your rent? Let me see what I can do. Okay. Once you're through, you'll go through the funerary ring of the church and down into the crypt. It's very important you not disturb. No. No, Earth can't come down from here. Not in here. Did I get ripped off again? Seriously, game, what, what's going on here? Am I doing too good or something? Is this like punishment? It's three bodies. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, there's one. Oh, wait, that's the same one. Okay, I see three. There should be four. I want my fourth pick up. Damn it. Here we go. Oh, I'm full again. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, reload. Gimme, gimme. Yum, yum. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> now that we have been liberated from the stalker room, the basilica, we can go do a hack. Let's go do the hack. Something new I discovered about hacks for the PC version. I previously discussed how you can abort the hack by simply pressing the fire button on a red light or an empty space. Um, but there's another way you can abort the hack without taking any damage. Let's just simply press the escape button. 
and he goes right in. So there's two ways to abort a hack without taking damage. And just to recap, the way you complete a hack is to find the blue lights and press the fire button every time you see a blue light. Do that three times to complete the hack. Voila, he's dead, you know? Onward, I think we're going to take a little visit to the gift shop. Because I'm full, full, full. I'm going to get the security suit. Whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh, oh. whoop, whoop. My Mr. Spot Spidey sense is tingling. That's right, don't forget to get this power node hanging behind that dead body there. And there should be some more goodies over here, but I doubt I'll be able to take them on. No. So, you guys hang out there. You wait for me, okay? Don't go away. We love you a long time. Um, there's also a medium med pack. Won't be able to pick that up either. I think it's time for a visit to the gift shop. The store. The store of the store is this way. And we'll get there by smashing this fuse here. Smashy smashy. Which will unlock this door and give us a shortcut back to the store, which is just down this way. <laughs> Let's make sure we're reloaded. Reloaded. Let's have a fire sale. Security suit downloaded. Everything must go. Now, security suit. Lovely little piece of armor that will give us 5% damage bonus to the pulse rifle. Don't really care much about that. Uh, and it will also give us 15 inventory slots. And I do care about that, so let's buy that sucker up. One, please. One moment, please. I'm just changing into my security suit. I'll be off in a minute. <laughs> Boya. Yeah. Yazi, yazi, yazer. I am Iron Man. <laughs> And what else can we do? We can buy a note. Let's buy one. And let's go apply some upgrades to the plasma cutter. Most particularly, some damage upgrades. We're going to follow the damage upgrade tree, basically. Uh, four damage upgrades we get. Those are the red dots there. One, two, three, and four. That'll cost you nine nodes, let's do it. Start off with those four there, that'll give us two damage upgrades. And we're out of here. Tell you what, let's save the game. And we're out of here. Magic blue line, where's the magic blue line? No. No. Yep, there we go. It says go that away. And we're gonna go into the reunion chapel. The reunion chapel has a couple of slashers and a whole bunch of creepy crawlies. One slash is gonna spawn there, another slash is gonna spawn there. This is kinda tricky. But you can take them all out with one time to mine if you get it right. But um Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> Go up here, spawn them. Okay. Two time mines. Yay. And these creepy crawlies just throw anything at them. And you can kill them. As long as you don't get too many on you at once, they won't do damage. But if you get a whole bunch on, on you, they can do some damage. And as you can see, I managed to fight off a whole bunch without them doing damage to me. Not exactly sure what the criteria for that is. Post a comment if you know. 
I've heard tell that if you get a whole bunch on you, you automatically take damage. I don't think that's necessarily true. And don't forget to get these pickups here, and then we're going to deal with Possum Pete just around the corner. Possum Pete is in the elevator. There you are. Playing Possum, eh? You know what the penalty for playing Possum is? Do you? Well, I'm going to remind you. That penalty is... You get pwned. <laughs> yeah, ain't that right. Yeah. Now give it up. <laughs> Thank you. Now, here we go again. Another thing. Um, if you watch the Mrs. Slack run through Chapter 4 Dead Space 2, you'll see that we actually found a gold semiconductor here. I don't know how the hell we did this because I've never been able to find a gold semiconductor there again. Ever. And I've been through this level like a bazillion times. So if you have any comment on that, Post it. Post a comment. What is up with that? Have you ever found the gold semiconductor there? If so, do you know anything about it? What is up with this mystery? Yep. So that's that. And did we get everything in the reunion chapel? Let's take a quick look around for the Mr. Spot people. I think we did. We got the pickups from both the slashers. Creepy crawlies don't get any pickups. We got the pickup there. We got the pickup there. We took care of Possum Pete. You there. Oh! Oh, oh! Jeez, missed that. Okay. Huh. I think that's all she wrote. I don't feel like looking around anymore. Do you? I didn't think so. Alright. On a merry way. Down to the crypt. Where we'll hear about some tales from the crypt. Tales from the crypt. Remember that movie? <laughs> Once again, the old slacks there showing how old he really is. Like 51 bazillion years old. Yeah, that's right. Soon to be 52 bazillion years old. At the end of the month. And that's it. That's the end of the chapter. Join me next time when I take on the crypt in Chapter 5 of Dead Space 2. Thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought these videos were just a whole bunch of fun, don't forget to give the old Slackster a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Alright, that's it. Slack out.